Hi, in this video, I want to show you how to fix this compilation error that there's no argument given that corresponds to the required formal parameter. So firstly, the error doesn't quite explain what's going on, so I will. Um, so this code here, learner, what I'm doing is I'm creating an instance of a class or an object of a class that I've created. So I have this um, learner class over here with various properties in it, ID, name, address, and age. Now, this code here with the um, instantiation of the learner and the curly brackets, this one statement is called an object initializer and it enables you to create your object and initialize it in one statement, which might be known as a shortcut um, for the code I'm about to show you. Um, so I'm going to show you that what it's a shortcut for and that will help explain why uh, it's giving an error. So firstly, if I were to create a learner the long way, be learner, I'm just going to call it uh, L1 or uh, sorry, learn. yeah, I believe go with L1, I just don't want to clash with what's underneath, equals new learner, and I will call the constructor. Now, semicolon there. And then I would have learn one dot, and I would I'll get each property dot ID, assign it a value, so it's going to make up anything here, 12, and again, learn one dot name, and give a name there, John, and so on, the address and age. Now, this is looking to call a constructor that takes no parameters. And I do not have that constructor in my, in my learner class that takes no parameters. So that is why it causes an error. So the fix for this, which might become obvious now, is to go into my learner class, add in the constructor, known as the no args constructor, that takes no parameters, just save that. Now back to my other code. And now you can see that that's not causing an error anymore. And this here, the object initializer code is now not causing an error either. Now, this code looks a little bit more complicated because I'm reading data from the database and I'm getting the values from a data reader. Um, so that's just why it looks a bit more complicated. So this object initializer basically is a shortcut for multiple statements. So I'd need one statement to create the object. And then if I have four properties in it, I'd need four lines to assign a value to each property. But this instead is one statement. Now, technically it'll be the same or maybe uh, one more line, but lines, but it is um, a shortcut for the code above. So that is how to solve it. Go into your class that corresponds to it and put in a constructor that takes no arguments and problem fixed.